House Committee on Public Accounts Chair Mike Defensor says the Philippine Health Insurance Corporation, or PhilHealth, allegedly released 1.49 billion pesos worth of Interim Reimbursement Mechanism, or IRM, funds to 51 healthcare facilities despite pending fraud cases. Most of the healthcare institutions involved are major hospitals in Metro Manila, the epicenter of the coronavirus pandemic in the Philippines. Nakatakot po tong ehemplo. And with so many hospitals here in Metro Manila and other countries, we should not allow those that have fraud cases, those that have penalties, to continue to have such funds. Among the 51 facilities cited by Defensor are several dialysis centers and lying-in clinics that do not necessarily accept COVID-19 patients. The IRM is a program that advances the reimbursement of members' insurance claims to hospitals and clinics directly hit by fortuitous events. It recently emerged as an alleged source of politics and corruption in PhilHealth. PhilHealth officials present during the hearing on Monday, August 17, do not give a direct explanation as to why the health facilities with pending fraud cases are given IRM funds. Meantime, the Philippine Red Cross may be forced to stop conducting COVID-19 swab tests in Metro Manila if PhilHealth does not reimburse some 700 million pesos it owes the organization. The state health insurer is currently under investigation by several government agencies, including the Department of Justice, the Office of the Ombudsman, and both chambers of Congress. Music